Steve Rad Abacus Brands. Steve, what are you showing here at Toy Fair? We are showing a line of educational toys. We specialize in augmented reality and virtual reality to uh, enhance toys. Uh, we're a publisher. We start with book content first, and from the books we adapt uh, immersive experiences to kind of add a layer of learning to make it fun. So you can talk about how your products work in tandem with the phone and the goggle attachment as well. Uh, so, you know, for us to come out with a VR headset would be uh, a little complex. It'd be a high-ticket item. Uh, we utilize, uh, uh, you know, mobile phone technology to uh, add a, a layer of immersive uh, nature uh, to just uh, give kids a kind of a real-life experience, take them from a volcano project into an actual volcano, take them from a crystal growing project into an actual crystal cave. But we utilize, of course, um, mobile technology. Now, where did the idea for this product come from? Uh, they each come from a different random dream, but they, uh, you know, every time uh, we, we see something in the market that we already know kids and parents love and it's working and it's perennial, like there's always going to be a market for uh, fashion or sports or music or history or art, uh, and we just take those things and again add that additional layer to make it immersive. I'm curious, you said it all on the phone, which was the smart move to do, but did you ever reiterate maybe doing it on the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive or, God forbid, the Apple the Apple Pro goggles? <laughs> the, the, the little two Pro, right? Um, <laughs> we're about to actually uh, adapt everything into those, uh, what we call uh, premium or professional headsets. So uh, by next year, all of our items will be uh, adapted to where you don't really necessarily need to use a mobile phone. If you have one of those higher end headsets at home, uh, you'll be able to still get into our books and also create those experiences with those headsets as well. What was that development process like? Because you have so much more power with those headsets working with PCs. Expensive. <laughs> expensive. Proprietary yeah. and expensive. Yeah. Expensive. It's a bit so, yeah. What are some of the challenges when designing uh, a toy for children in, in the modern days, 2023? Um, the challenges are just staying on top of what, how kids are learning. I mean, kids are digesting information differently. They want, you know, they don't want to just play anymore. They want to feel, they want to experience, they want to be in it. And, uh, you know, by having tools like VR at your fingertips, it kind of gives it that additional, you know, layer of fun to just escape and, you know, almost trick the kids into thinking they're playing and gamifying the experience. But joke's on you. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, this is the first time I was at the show and I was talking to one of your attendees here and they said mesh like yeah. what for people who don't know what that is like me what, what what is mesh yeah mesh is mental emotional social health uh, we're using one of our new items uh, the Penn and Teller magic lab VR as a conduit to mesh uh, by that we mean um, you know making kids confident making kids aware of their social surroundings uh, taking a, an awkward silence into an opportunity to forge a new relationship uh, presentation yeah. skills storytelling skills it's a it's you know uh, just just focusing on mental and emotional health more than just stem and science and tech and more about who we are as people and especially coming out of COVID you want to you know be able to jump in front of somebody and say hey let me show you something and having uh, you know a backup plan when things don't go your way and not panicking at a job interview or when trying to get a girlfriend right so all of those things play a factor in and for us magic as a tool. Yeah, you guys have some original like products here like dinosaurs and chemistry but you just have some licensed products can you kind of go around can you kind of go around your your array of different products yeah uh, we, we what we did was break it up in brands so we have a, a DK uh, line and range that is more book centric uh, we have a Bill Nye uh, you know uh, brand and segment that's more gamified and science uh, centric we have uh, the world Atlas uh, that's uh, you know again we, we everything we do still has that science element even with our master chef food line we still found a way to bring the stem piece into there. So you make a pancake project, and then we're going to do how, where does, you know, how does photosynthesis convert tree sap into syrup? And it's like, for mom, it's like that was so random to sneak in, you know, a lysopene, you know, project into the middle of a, a you know, pasta sauce, right? So um, yeah, it's just it's just adding those additional layers to just give it value. Actually, you guys also have something for a little bit of the older audience for like a murder mystery dinner party. You have a cold case uh, uh, brand. Talk about that. We are most excited about this new range. We're going to do uh, murder for the first time. Uh, every time we show murder, the first reaction is, well, what about for the kids? And we're like, okay, fine. We'll do a who stole my cookie, who stole my girlfriend, and who stole my cookie. Two different lines. So, um, but yeah, that's going to be a fun way to act, to use VR, to get into CCTV cameras. Uh, again, expensive production-wise, where it's, a, it's like a film shoot where we're you know creating these these scenarios and you're filming people and it's you know like shooting a movie effectively and, and then gamifying it but that's uh, fun we're having a blast doing it we, we only take on things that we love to do and and when we go in we go in all the way so 
you guys, you guys just said you're originally a publishing company, like, and you're getting more and more into the gaming space. Is that something you guys might want to explore more? Are you guys going to make full-fledged video games? We, we have no idea which wheel is going to come off at what time. <laughs> Right, so we're just we're fortunate to, to be running full speed and having fun in the process. But we've got some great support from from friends, family, media, retailers, distributors, uh, both domestic and international. And uh, as long as uh, we get the love and we see the items are working and the, the you know the fan base is there, we'll keep uh, developing at whatever pace we can. So where could people find more information about your products? Uh, you can check us out at advocacebrands.com or uh, amazon.com/advocacebrands and uh, any your local retailer or specialty store.